What's up everybody, this is uh, Steve with Smitty's Fly Box. Today we're going to be tying a uh, Dolly Llama, which is a uh, fly that really originated for Alaska, but I love it as a really crossover streamer pattern for anything, trout, bass, pike, so what I have here is I'm going to start with my trailer hook, and this is a uh, Daiichi. It's kind of a nasty hook, so you can really use kind of any stout hook that you would like. Um, this one works really well. Uh, so I'm going to just start my thread here. And we'll uh, snip off the excess here. And the first thing I'm going to do actually is uh, I have a, a long piece of... We're going to do black and white here. Um, again, any color combination depending on what you're targeting. So I just have a piece of straight cut zonker um, rabbit fur. I'm going to just pop this through the hook there towards the back. And then let's actually take our hook out of the vise. Slide it around the bend of the hook and then we'll uh, mount our hook in there again. And then we can tie down this uh, piece of rabbit fur. So let's just uh, pull back some of these fibers here and we'll uh, attach that with a couple of good thread wraps right there. Okay, now we can uh, pull that rabbit back and let's go towards the eye of the hook and let's repeat that step. Let's tie it down twice. Let's kind of part that hair there best we can. And with our left hand, just drop it over about three times and give it a couple of good snugs. And then we'll pull it back there and we can whip finish up under there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is uh, I've got some pea line, just like some braided fishing line. That's like pretty <clears throat> strong stuff. I just took a piece of about six inch piece there and fold it over. Line up the tips there like that. And let's just bring both of those up through the eye of the hook. And then we'll uh, feed it through our loop there. And I make sure that it's looped around the eye of the hook like that. We're going to use that for our articulation there. So, okay, now we can take this out of the vise and let's uh, let's go to our front hook. So I just have kind of a random hook that I have laying around because we're actually going to we're going to cut that. So uh, and this is a 9.5 millimeter cone, so fairly large. Again, go smaller if you want to do a trout size one or or whatever, you get a 6.3 uh, millimeter cone. There's a lot you can do with this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, let's just uh, attach our thread. I'm pretty much gonna cut that hook about directly above the point of the hook there, so that's kind of a, a stopping point, I, I guess you could say, with the uh, thread, so I'll attach our thread there. And what we'll do is, uh, Let's take our trailer fly now. Now I like to uh, try to judge. There's the eye of the hook. Let's come back about a hook length, about right there. About like that. And then we can uh, tie down our P line on top. Let's just make three or four good turns right there. And before we attach the rest, let's feed the tips through the cone. Like that. Let's slide that cone back. Let's go down through the eye of the hook. And then let's come back up under and feed it again through the cone. Like that. And then we can pull tight. Make sure we pull that tight. And now we'll really crank down on this. And we'll tie that down all the way to the front here. Let's come right back here to our stopping point. 
All right, now we can uh, let's snip off that P line there. Okay, now we're gonna uh, let's take the front here, the uh, the rabbit strip. We're gonna fold this up over now. I like to hold that tight. The temptation with this rabbit strip is to stretch it. So you want to avoid that uh, so it doesn't pull out or whatever. So I just kind of just lay it down so there's just a little bit of wiggle room there. So once I have that, just lay it right down. Let's just come right there and pinch. And we'll try to part that uh, hair again right in there. And we'll secure it in with three or four good turns right there. Okay, let's just pull the hair back. We'll uh, advance our thread to behind the cone there. Okay, now we're gonna take this rabbit strip and go over the top away from us. We're just gonna wrap this over here. Now, the hair wants to stick up, that's okay. We're gonna, uh, as we go, we can kinda comb it back. Create a nice, tight body there. Okay, and then once we get to the cone here, we'll make one final good turn there and come straight up. Now I'm using kind of a floss thread here because uh, we are going to be cranking down on this. So I'm going to make one full turn right there, drop it over, and now as I pull the thread towards me, I'm going to kind of pull the strip away from me and just give it a little tug and that helps me slip that rabbit strip up underneath there and gets a couple of good snug, uh, snug wraps in there nice and tight like that. Okay now we can snip that that rabbit hurt fur. Just come in there like that. If you need to you can kind of push that strip down in there all right, let's just make a few good turns right there and kind of crank down on that a little bit just to make sure that's secured in there and won't slip out. Let's tie in a piece of white on top. So I just have another piece of rabbit strip there cut to about length. Um, I like to extend it just past the point of, or the eye of the uh, back hook there. So let's just slide that in there and I like to Try not to poke that, slide that in there. I like to just lay it on top. Give it a couple of good tight turns right there and then use my bodkin to, my fingernail, and just kind of stuff it down in there. And then let's crank a couple times on that. All right, let's put some flash in there now. This is saltwater flashaboo or some really thick flashaboo here. So I'm just gonna take one strip on both sides and I like that strip to extend just basically past the white there just slightly. And we'll just tie that down, fold it over, come back and tie over it a couple times. Okay, and we'll repeat that step on the far side there. And fold that over and make a little collar there. All right, now we can whip finish. Okay, now one of the things you have here is uh, kind of maybe a little dead spot there. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some super glue in there and actually kind of push that cone back just on top of those materials just a little bit. So we'll take some Zappa Gap. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll just drop some uh, Zappa Gap up under behind the bead there. And then uh, you can actually push that cone back onto our materials, kind of fills that in a little better and 
makes this fly pretty durable. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, take some wire cutters. I like to keep my fly in the vise when I'm doing this. So you don't kill your neighbor with a flying hook. And we'll just clip that off. And what we have here is a Dalai Lama streamer.